Hi, good morning, everybody. Uh, welcome all our cyber Sangha members and all my uh, Facebook live friends. So this is an ongoing continuation of uh, our teaching and practices. So the first session we talked about that you are not your pain. I think uh, many people uh, responded very well with that and many people um, benefited a lot with that short practices. Uh, amazing uh, feedbacks. Uh, every time I look at these feedbacks makes me smile, laugh, feel good. Thank you. Um, and uh, the next session, so the question about if you are not your pain, then who are you? Uh, we talked about you are your eternal body. Uh, so uh, I know when we say that, probably it doesn't, uh, you don't know what exactly that is, right? You are your eternal body. And um, I think there were some beautiful comments and the people were saying, so you are your pure s sacred space. You are that, that inner light. Uh, you are that a uh, genuine warmth. Basically, who you are is that pure space, uh, pure awareness or the light, and pure warmth. That's who you are. And uh, so if I'm not my pain body, if I'm not my pain speech, if I'm not my pain mind, then I am that pure space instead of pain body. I am that pure awareness instead of that pure speech. I, I say pain speech. I am that warmth instead of my pain mind. So this is what what we we talked about, and uh, I think uh, we did some short practices. These are absolutely rooted. Uh, to very ancient, unbroken lineage, traditions, transmissions, uh, teachings of great perfection, Dzogchen. And uh, so now this, today, I'm going to talk a little bit in the same areas, but talking a little bit in terms of the how we, this, talking a little bit, combining these two sessions, two parts, you are not your pain, you are that space, awareness, and warmth. How does that work in our everyday life practices? How we can integrate that principle, that practice, and that experience in our everyday life, how we can integrate that. So that is a little bit what I would like to discuss today. So first of all, I would like everybody to be uh, very alert. Like, okay, so I, are you all very alert right now? Are you all very awakened? Uh, like after good exercise, fresh, clear, connected, or maybe sometime, maybe even um, after good espresso. <laughs> are you all here with me? So, 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 so think about this. I would like everybody to be really like uh, pay attention in your life to say that I wanted to be conscious, I wanted to be aware, I wanted to engage these principles moment to moment in my life. Particularly, I wanted to catch myself, I wanted to notice myself, I wanted to be aware of myself whenever I get trapped in my pain body, whenever I am trapped in my pain speech, whenever I am trapped in my pain mind, and these three are who I am not. So whenever I am l losing, a trap, getting trapped in who I am not, and putting a lot of effort, feeling a lot of pain, losing a lot of energy, I want to, to be clearly conscious about that because I do not have enough energy to drain. I don't have enough energy to lose. Whatever biological, uh, psychological, 
emotional energy that I have, I wanted to make best out of them to to grow myself, to to be well myself, to help other, to engage in the society in a positive way. I wanted to use the best those energy in the best places in my life. Obviously, we all love to think that way. We all wish that way, and we wanted to definitely wanted to engage that way. So our meditation, so who you are is not just a passive. Who you are is a life. Who you are is a living. Who you are is expression. Who who you are is a sacred art, and who you are is affecting surrounding you and others, and that's what we wanted to be. So the number one here. This sense of commitment that I want to be aware when I get caught up in my pain, body, speech, and mind. Okay, so just think about it. So I want everybody. This is the number one. This is what I want everybody to 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 hear me, to feel it, to say yes. I would like to do that. I would love to do that. I will do that. Now, what does that exactly mean? That means whenever you are by yourself, um, when you, whenever you are not really engaging with the world, moment of little passive, moment of quiet, moment of not being with other people, what what happens? You get tuned into that pain body. You begin to kind of you you look at some people in the Monday morning. Look at around. There is a collective pain body manifesting in the street, in the cars, going to the work. You see those faces. A collective professional pain body expression of pain face everywhere you see in the Monday. I do not want to feel my face like that. Okay? I want to not to. Uh, contract my muscles in my face like that. I don't want to contract my bodies like that. I don't want to contract my neurons in my brain, cells in my body like that. I want them to relax, rest, recover, heal, reconnect, and activate in a positive way. I want to do that. So whenever you, f you feel that you are doing it, just be conscious and return back to your source. So this Monday morning is one image. Okay, think about another image. I'm sorry to give give these bad images, but I think it's helpful to know to know how bad things are, and then to to be really not to get into it. Think about a distorted uh, family. Do not really want to see each other, but socially feel obligated to get together for Christmas dinner, and they all have incredible personal pain story with each other, plus a collective story, the collective family pain uh, in, in together. Imagine that dinner night, how that person will feel in their body. Just like a feeling this collective pain in the family, and also individual pain stories connected to, uniquely connected to each other. Think about that body. You do not want to feel that in your body. You want to feel your body is resting, grounded, connected, recovering. So, so do not get trapped into those uh, situations like a Christmas dinner, Monday morning. So that is kind of a simple example of like a pain body. Think about the pain speech that you you. Um, Think about somebody that who complains a lot, who complains about everything, anything, and you like that person, but you, but you know that person really, really complains, right? So if you say yes, it's a complaint, not good. If you say no, it's not good. If you remain silent, it's not good. If you talk, it's not good. No matter what you do, it's a little bit of a problem, and that person always has some negative thing to talk about of you. Think about that person. And I'm sure when I say think about the person, you're not thinking it's you, right? You are thinking, oh, I know that person. My sister is like that. My friend is like that. My husband is like that. My brother. You are always thinking about somebody, right? Think about 
somebody might be feeling a little bit like that of you. And you can imagine which are the moments they might feel that of you. Probably, I think if you're smart, if you're open, if you're genuine enough, you will clearly see, yes, I do too, I do too. And I'm, I really don't want you to do it, but I do too. So just be, be a little bit more conscious and be a little bit more aware to unnecessary criticism, unnecessary complaint, and particularly unnecessary criticism and complaint to people who you work with. That's not a very good way of being creative. That's not the way of being very productive. Or you don't want to do, criticize or complain that way with people you love or people you are uh, really like trying to build a relationship, intimacy with somebody. That's not the way to build connection, not build loving relationship with somebody by complaining and criticizing. If you need the attention of somebody, that's not the good way to get attention of somebody. I'm sure there are better ways to do that. So just think about that you don't want to do that. So whenever you get trapped in that pain speech, be conscious, be aware. Because every second, every moment of your pain speech, you are losing your speech. You are blocking your throat chakra. You are disconnecting with that silence. You are losing connection to those people and you absolutely don't want you to do it because that's not who you are. You are more silence. You are more that awareness you, than that pain and that expression of pain, that negative impact of that pain. None of those you are not. So whenever you are losing your energy in those situations, be aware of that. Third and the last one, the pain mind, the extreme imagination of pain, extreme imagination of pain, feeling so much pain and having horrible thoughts. Think about that. And having horrible thoughts and not being conscious of those horrible thoughts, not aware at all. And you are, you are spending hours in that patterns of thought and repeating those thoughts again and again and again. And during all those times, you are clearly draining your neurons in your brain. You're losing your energy in your body, in your brain. And so you do not want to do that. Again, why you don't want to do that? Because that pain mind is not who you are. And that pain mind who you are not, when you are aware, when you get caught up that, caught up in that, and when you are unconsciously activating it a lot and affecting around you and other people with that, you definitely do not want to be in that pattern. So, so you, what do you want to do? I want you to be conscious of that. So be conscious of your pain body, be conscious of your pain speech, be conscious of your pain mind, so you, basically, this is what I'm trying to say here, is to catch yourself. Any given moment when you are doing that, just catch yourself. Oh, pain body. Up, pain speech. Just the moment to moment, willing to self-reflect, willing to be self-aware, willing to self-liberate, that willingness, I would like everybody to this very moment as I'm speaking, I want all of you think about it. The sense of willingness, yes, I am truly wanted to be more aware of my pain body, truly wanted to be aware of my pain speech, truly be aware of my pain mind, because that's not who I am, and that is how I lose so much energy, so much energy. 
Maybe in some cases you are deteriorating your well-being, deteriorating your health, deteriorating, deteriorating your positive uh, mood, positive outlook, losing your enthusiasm, losing your smile, losing your humor, losing your playfulness because of those things and you do not want to lose those, those energy. Think about that. So, okay, so let's say our commitment is there, our engagement is there, and we really wanted to do it, do it and we, we will begin to catch yourself quite frequently. I often say, at least, if you wanted to make a commitment to me, at least make it five times, say, I will remember five times. This is my commitment toward myself. Number five is number five, not four. So five times or more, I will catch myself when I trap into that body, pain body, when I get trapped into that speech, pain speech, when I get trapped into pain mind, I will remember five times. Then what I will do? I will reverse that and go to the source and meditate. Okay, so that's, this is the next step what I want to talk. So what is the meditation here we are talking about? So think about these three principles. They all start R, right? Resting. Okay, resting. Do you love to rest? Do you like the idea of resting? Think about that. Yes, right? Think about idea of resting. Do you like the idea of recovering? Because first, first you rest. You rest your body in that stillness. As I'm speaking, I want you to be aware. You want to rest in that stillness in your body, right this moment as I'm speaking. It does not interfere me talking and you listening. Rest in that stillness of your body. Feel it. Be aware of that. When you are resting, you are recovering. Feel that. You are recovering. It's like a, a power nap without sleeping. What are you recovering? Maybe you are recovering uh, qualities such as joy, you are feeling more joy, as you remain in that stillness, silence, spaciousness, as you rest in there, rest deep enough, as you recover, recovered enough, you begin to feel these qualities some sense of peace, some sense of okay, okayness, a sense, sense of joy, a sense of connection and love. You recover, you discover these qualities. Number two. Number three is you reconnect. So reconnect with the wherever you feel disconnected. You reconnect with somebody with that love. You, you reconnect to your work with that joy. You reconnect to your life with that joy. So if you are disconnected with your life, you are disconnected with, with your work, you are disconnected with somebody, you reconnect to them with this sense of joy and love. Resting, recovering, reconnecting. Think about these three terms. 
And obviously, uh, uh, you, the idea of resting is when you are losing energy. And when you are losing energy, it's when you are losing so much biological, psychological, emotional energy into uh, who you are not and trying to find something who you are not or trying to do something almost meaningless. And you, not only that, but you are losing so much energy. Maybe you have lost so much energy already. Probably if you reflect in your life, you have lost, you have lost a lot of energy. If it's like a phone, if you look at the phone, it says maybe, imagine what the number of percentage of the battery is left. Is it a red? Is it a close to red? Or you just begin to lose? Or you have lost, begin, begin, you have lost a lot? Think about it. Imagine if self-reflecting and what you will be, what you are able to be aware of how much you have lost. Now, just that with that awareness, the sense is you do not want to lose more. So, resting, recovering, reconnecting. So this is the meditation uh, we are going to do. So I, so now I want all of you, for a moment, um, stop clicking anything, typing anything. Thank you, Gabriel. Just take a few deep breathings, twice longer, comfortably, and exhale every discomfort that you are feeling in your body, in your breath, in your mind. Just for a moment, quick reflection, how much you drain yourself, waste the energy in your pain body, pain speech, pain mind, in every day in your life. How much energy you lose. Just for a short moment, self-reflect. Just for, for a moment, very clearly, very honestly, very, with a braveness, look at how much energy you have been losing through your pain body in your body. Wow! So much all these years. Realize that. Take a deep breathing in, and as you exhale, just exhale out all those exhaustions of that pain body it's feeling. Let's breathe it out a few times and feel that we are all 
supporting each other, the sacred cyber sangha is helping each other. We are all helping each other. Just breathe it out. And as you breathe it out, rest deep into the stillness of your body. Be aware of those pain. Breathe it out through your pain body and feel sense of resting in that stillness in your body. Just repeat a few times and then just simply rest, rest deeper. Feel that a sense of not contracting, not holding, not grasping in your body. If you detect anything, let it go through exhalation and rest deeper, deeper, hit the ground of the base of that stillness. Second, now be aware of pain speech. Think about right now, this moment in the media, so much talk, conflict, pain speeches. You can look at in your own life, wherever that is happening. You can look at people you know, whoever is doing that. You can be a little bit more conscious also when you do that. And just feel some sense of exhaustion. It's enough, it's enough, it's enough. Just breathe it out, deep exhalation. Be conscious of that, breathe it out. Be conscious of that, breathe it out. And rest in the end of that exhalation, deeper, deeper, deeper in that silence. Feel that silence. Beautiful, peaceful, and you need it. Breathe it out deep, all those noises, all those pain speech. Breathe it out, connect deeper, deeper to the silence, deeper to inner, inner silence. And gradually allow that sense of pre pure presence in that silence which is not different from that silence. That pure presence, that pure awareness is the wisdom of silence. That is who you are.
the last one be aware of that pain mind sometime maybe you feel or we feel i'm glad that people don't hear my thoughts it's too crazy sometime you laugh about your thoughts sometime you can cry about your thoughts the pain mind just be aware of that it's exhausting how many thoughts how often you think how meaningless many of them are it's exhausting we all need rest feel this deep sense of resting in that inner space spaciousness by being conscious by breathing out those exhaustions resting deeper into that spaciousness of your mind like a crystal clear sky rest rest deeper rest in that stillness let go of pain body rest in that silence let go of your pain speech rest in that spaciousness of your mind let go of your pain mind not exhaust not lose energy when you are connected to the source you are not not only losing but you are charging you are healing this moment healing is happening in you collectively we are helping each other feel that feel that in entire your body feel that in your energy centers in your body feel that in your heart feel that in your breath in your heart feel that space feel that light and as you breathe out breathe that light through your nostril just imagine as you breathe out a pure blue luminous light if you those you know the syllable hum imagine hum comes out of your nostril come out and it hits objects around you particularly the objects of ego the objects of fear the objects of pain mind so that basically objects of pain mind pain body pain speech those objects this breath this light dissolving them whatever your topic of discussion conversation object of conversation it's a car it's a belonging it's a material thing whatever it is when you breathe out that hung that light hit that object and object dissolves into the light just give a little time breathe it out dissolve the objects of pain into the light and the light comes back through your nostril it dissolves your organs into the light feel that light breathe it out it dissolves those object where the anger is anger related object and then dissolves into the light and then that light comes back 
through your nostril as a breath and dissolves your heart into light or those pain into light, that which caused by that, that image. That object, that anger, that part of your body, through that breath, everything is transforming into light. Continue that breath, breathing of light, the practice of breathing of light, feeling that who you are, feeling that light, breathing out that light through your nostril, transforming objects of pain into light, and breathing in that light, transforming the subject or organs in the body or pains in the body into light. Every single breath, there's a more light outside, there's a more light inside. Continue breathing the light and feel that profound support by all around the world by the Cyber Sangha. Just continue. Breathe much deeper than usually you will breathe. When you're breathing out, it reaches more places. When you're breathing in, it, just, it reaches more places inside as you breathe deep. Continue. Okay, so you can open your eye. We finished the meditations. It's a short time, but at least, hopefully, it's some glimpse of experiences. So now you're welcome to share your experience of meditation, uh, whatever you felt, and uh, whatever is happening to you. This is a moment of sharing. So we are sharing. Uh, to each other and uh, to to support each other to inspire each other and uh, sharing is coming from that s pure space so thank you thank you and so just to conclude our today's practice so so basically the conclusion will be that really like uh, what you're trying to do is to be connect, connecting with the highest aspect of yourself. So, of course, highest aspect of yourself could mean many different things. And, but at least higher than before we start the Facebook Live higher than yesterday, higher than that, those pain, body, speech, and mind, until to the sense of highest will be you f feel you, you fully embody the three kayas, the Dharma kaya, the Sambhoga kaya, and the Nirmana kaya. You embody that space, sacred space, you embody that sacred light, you embody that sacred warmth, you embody that view, you embody that meditation, you embody that conduct. So it's, it's, it's a way of able to connect with the highest aspect of yourself. Not only that, but through that higher aspect of yourself, you are able to see others better. Because you cannot see other person 
if you don't see yourself well or you cannot see other person well if you don't see yourself well so finding yourself finding your true voice you don't talk from that pain you don't talk from that collective pain you don't talk from that anger but trying to find your own a true voice of kindness compassion love from that place of silence finding your voice from that silence that is important discovering your own potentiality so everything whatever you are trying to do in your life you are just live simple normal life or trying to uh, engage with a lot of people help others trying to change society trying to impact the world whatever from the very small to very big goals the wishes that you have in order to accomplish those things you need to, to discover your potentiality you you you're trying to live through your strength your clarity you're trying to express those clarity strength kindness giving a voice to those strength giving a voice to that clarity giving a voice to that power giving a voice to that love love need to, to be heard by others you need a voice for that so it's it's in a way of finding yourself finding your voice finding your creativity and um, seeing others helping others connecting with others these all are our purpose of our life so this is we can say that is if we live trying to live that way that is we can say that's a very pretty good lifestyle a joyful lifestyle a purposeful lifestyle a healthy lifestyle and uh, it will give you more life will give you more the more you give it gives you more that kind of giving you want you don't lose anything more you give more you get more you give more you get you never lose anything by giving because that giving is coming from right place when it's coming from the wrong place you don't even have to give you are already beginning to lose by resisting to give we are a lot of people in the name of helping others trying to do or trying to trying to do one's best but you often you realize you're losing so much but you're not able to give so much because you the question is you have to ask where it's coming from so more good questions you ask the better answers you're going to get in your life to learn to ask better questions don't repeat again and again the same bad questions so so this is how we're going to conclude our day today and i just wanted to say uh, two announcements so basically um this uh, coming thursday we'll have same meditation and some question and answers um same time one o'clock new york time on this coming thursday and this coming uh sunday morning um 8 30 new york time in the morning 8 30 a.m new york time in the morning uh we will be interviewing uh, having conversation with alejandro chaul who is uh, um, the director of the Lingmicha Research, who also is very important in the MD Anderson Hospital doing research there. So this is some of the very important research that has been done there based on these principles, these teachings. And uh, so it's not only um, just uh, me, like person like me, who's just teaching meditation and saying, oh, yeah, okay, I feel great, you feel great. It's not like that but also there are 
uh, really um, a researchers which has done uh, based on b people who are practicing uh, many of people are pra who are practicing maybe not necessarily they are practitioners probably many of them are not and but still how much benefit these practices bringing and so the findings of those research uh, we will discuss uh, this coming Sunday at 8.30 um, a.m. New York time we'll also share uh, some of the publications are published uh, on those researches and some of the video links whatever we have we're also able to share those things with all of you so thank you thank you very much and uh, and uh, keep on watching this uh, it, as it will be recorded so keep on watching again and again and meditate again and again and every new insight new experiences that you feel love to hear comments even even sometimes you write few comments i look at all of them so uh, very happy to look so thank you very much all uh, all my blessings and uh, good day good night good sleep whatever you are next step is taking you have wonderful time thank you